Look at her. Look at her woman, man. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. That ain't my. That ain't my. That ain't my girl. That's my nigga. Catch me out on Ocean Drive with her. Catch me in the whip, ride with her. Hey, sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in the household. Oh, damn, yeah, man. Oh, never knew, no, I never knew that you be a freak and a friend too. Yeah, you into everything I'm into. Oh, I got something that I can lend you. Oh, a peace of mind, baby. Come and get a peace of mind. Yeah. Say you gotta work from three to nine. Oh, I get you home by a decent time. Wait, your bed, you can sleep in mine. Yeah, let's make it happen, girl. I need some time. Speaking of time, who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get when we lock lips. I got the weed at the crib and the liquor too. I f your soul, I release in your spiritual. I be your muse, bring your easel and pencils. So here you go, you try to tease with them pictures. You could ride on me just like you ride the elliptical. She said, I'm trying to keep it tight for my nigga. Girl, I like your last nigga. All I need is mental. You know, I'll work you out, get you right with your physical. Always just another interlude. Asking all them questions, girl, you know I don't do interviews. It's pitiful that when I went to mother. Cook a lunch real quick before we go to work tonight. So we can pack it, pack my son's lunch or dinner for my mom's house. You know, mother team. Okay, so if y'all, the people that are watching my vlog right now, if y'all watched my last video when I went grocery shopping, I got this green, this green seasoning that I've seen Jamaicans use, but they make their shits by scratch. I don't know how to make it by scratch. I never tried to make it by scratch. I just bought it from the store, right? And this combo right here, y'all. This combo right here is so fire, and I want y'all to try it. You have to add your own seasoning as well. So I added garlic powder, onion powder, I believe Creole. And then I put some of this green seasoning in it. And then this Indian butter chicken. The Indian butter chicken is really good by itself. However, you still need to season your chicken because if you use it by itself, you can taste it. But it just, you can, if you're a cooker and you like seasoning, you're going to realize like, damn, it's like missing something. So if you season your chicken, how you normally would season your chicken and then add the Indian butter on top of it, fire. But the, the Jamaican green seasoning with the Indian butter, oh, that's what I did with this chicken. This shit is so fire, y'all. Passion out in sticks with nothing around you. Katie, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. But you got desires. I know, I know. But you got desires. I know, I know. But you got desires. Look at that fire. And I'm not a liar. Self-control is never been a thing Don't think it enough There's a ring with a lot Where I'm from, they serve the soda things You come from a city Where there's lean with the rocks How the fuck you keep so many seeds? How you going vegan But still be filled How the fuck you see so many beats? Tickets to them places Don't go cheap I see it back in the church Remember we took it at first Get it, got you a whip We got back on I had to tell you to get it. I'm always moving too fast. I'm feeling no last. I feel like you're taking for granted. Probably my fault for the way that I handle it. I should have put you somewhere where no one can find you. Passion, I need sticks with nothing around you. Katie, 
Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. But you got desires, I know, I know. Cause you got desires, I know, I know, I know. Cause you got desires. Ooh, shawty, you try it. Boys getting filled with entitlement. Why would you tell me don't lie? Why would you make it so all to my face? Why are your stories all over the place? Whole lot of secrets friends don't keep safe. Where did your friends all go? I can't solve your problems. You say your problems never needed solving. I was too good till you should've stayed solid. Nice guys always finish off where they started. They shop who you wanted things and you got it. They shop who I wanted smoke and I got it. Days I pull, days I. Look at her. Huh. Look at her mama, man. Look at her. Huh. That ain't my. That ain't my. That ain't my girl. That's my nigga. Catch me out on ocean drives with her. Hey. Catch me in the whip, ride with her. Hey. Sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in a household. Oh, damn, yeah, man. Oh, never knew, no, I never knew that you be a freak and a friend, too. Yeah, you into everything I'm into. Oh, I got something that I can lend you. Oh, a peace of mind, baby. Come and get a peace of mind. Yeah. Say you gotta work from three to nine. Oh. I get you home by a decent time. Wait, your bed, you can sleep in mine. Yeah, let's make it happen, girl. I need some time. Speaking of time, who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get when we lock lips. I got the weed at the crib and the liquor too. I f your soul, I release in your spiritual. I be your muse, bring your easel and pencils. So here you go, you try to tease with them pictures. You could ride on me just like you ride the elliptical. She said, I'm trying to keep it tight for my nigga. Girl, I like your last nigga. All I need is mental. You know, I'll work you out, get you right with your physical. Always oh, just another interlude. Asking all them questions, girl, you know I don't do interviews It's pitiful that when I'm with them other bitches, I pretend it's you Oh, you work at clothes, you in dental school Wife and I, you fuck with clothes, cooking dinner too Young chiller, girl, I'm known as Pim Griffey too It's only right that I swing by and hit it too First base, second base, third base I'm trying to get you in your birthday Oh I know these other niggas thirsty, but please never entertain them, cause that would hurt me, you feel me? Yeah. I know you feel me, oh, I know you feel me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Huh. Girl, I know you feel me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. So much to live for the truth, baby. Let's not rush into it now. Let's not rush into it. When we get to it, we can give it all that we got. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say it.
Nigga don't approach your whip that a red Nigga that ain't good game home is sorry They say conversation through the nation I can tell, but I could never write my wrongs Unless I write it down for real Sunday, so you know where we going. You know where we going. We going to church. We going to church. Last night at work was honestly really freaking good. Really, 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 really good. And that stage footage that I recorded for y'all, I made literally almost either two hundred dollars or almost two hundred dollars on that one stage set. And I had multiple stage sets like that, y'all. I hate the street. Um, I had multiple stasis like the all night and I'm so upset that I didn't get to record it for y'all. I had those stage sets. I did eight to nine VIPs last night. It was just a good ass night. Everybody was trying to get me to go out last night to an after hour spot and I was like, no, I got church in the morning. Last time I went out on a Saturday night, I did not make it to church and I was so disappointed in myself and I'll never do that again. So if y'all want me to go outside late at night, y'all need to call me, um, me out on a friday night baby we're not missing church no more because we want to have some fun we're not doing that. i'm feeling real good today I'm feeling real good yesterday i ended up going out to lunch with my homegirl to this indian spot it was actually really 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 good i tried to get some pounded yam which is also you better make the light which is also thank you which is also called um what is it called foo 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 um it was okay it wasn't really to my liking it probably wasn't to my liking because we got the food to go because by the time the food's gonna come out i was gonna be late to work and i already kind of was late to work so i'm surprised she still let me work because when i get past that 30 minute mark normally she's like you gotta go but today she didn't do that she was telling me if you wait a little bit after getting it when it's not fresh 100 percent it'll be tasting a little different but i ended up getting some chicken stew with the foo foo and she got like a a vegetable stew or a spinach spinach stew with some fufu and like jollof rice and some bunch of shit. 
she be taking a pediment and i was telling her that i used to take it and i need to start taking it again because she be gaining weight off that shit and when i first took a pediment back in 2018 i really was gaining weight from it like i gained at least 20 pounds because i and i was also eating a lot so and that's what i'm doing now i'm eating a lot but i'm also just working a lot like i work out physically a lot so i think that's why it's hard for me to really gain it or for it to like really show because slow down because i'm working out too much physically at work i work out at work and i work out when i'm not at work so it's like i probably might be burning more than i'm actually gaining so i'm thinking about taking the impediments so that way everything that i'm eating stays on me then also will stay for sure because i'll be working out when you take a pediment if you stop taking a pediment and you're not in the gym then the weight goes away real fast so you have to like you have to keep or you have to keep taking it or keep eating or you got to work out while you're doing it and i'm gonna be working out while i'm doing it so that way the weight stays on me but i got my windows down and i'm not trying to talk real loud so i'm gonna tune in with y'all when i get to church or at the church hey y'all so we're out of church church service was actually really good it was really good we had the assistant pastor preaching today today's uh, sermon was about um getting past your pain and not letting your pain just simmer and fester inside of you you know they say that um time heals all which that is a lie because the more you bury your emotions and your pain and hurt deep down inside the more it just festers in you and then you become angry all the time or the pastor had gave us uh, an example of uh, years ago when he used to, I'm assuming, be a manager somewhere and his employees weren't working fast enough, you know, just working, weren't working to their full potential and it bothered him, but he wasn't vocal about it to his employees. So he just buried all that anger and frustration that he had towards them inside. And he did that for a few months. And he said, after a while of doing that, he would wake up early in the morning, two, three o'clock in the morning with just stomach cramping to the point he couldn't talk, walk, hurt to breathe. He literally had to be in like a fetal position until it just went away. And then he said that he eventually, you know, was speaking to his Christian friends and they, he said that God spoke through them and was basically saying that it's not, you know, and it, it's nothing wrong with you. It's just you letting all your anger fester inside you and it's starting to become physical pain instead of emotional pain. And when you, you can gain physical pain by emotional pain by suppressing it for so long, for so long. He also said that, and this, I hate when this happens. Like I always want to say that I have a bad memory, which I was just about to tell you guys something so strong and I felt like the devil kind of stopped me just now and I lost her and thought what I was going to say after that. Um, and basically how to, what they were saying, I hate that, my, my rosary had broke and I put it back on but I put it on backwards and it keeps turning around and it's bothering me. Um, but what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. How you can heal, how you can heal the pain and, uh, you know, grow from it is really just by having God in your life. You can't get better alone. You know, you need people that you can trust. You need God, number one. And you need to bring all of your worries to God. And that's what I'm doing now. So that's why I'm actually happy that this sermon was about that because it just really reminded me to give my burdens to God. Forgive people. As we were talking about that, I was saying that, you know, I forgive my son's father for the things that he's done to me. I forgive the little tiny baby things that my recent ex that he has did. I also have to forgive myself. I think that's really what I need to focus on because I, it's not hard for me to forgive other people. It's really not hard for me to forgive other people. I don't hold grudges. I don't hold grudges. I was never able to hold grudges. 
but like certain things that I've done in my life and certain things that I've accepted in my life, I think that's what I have to forgive. I think that's what I need to drop onto God to release certain things inside of me. Because I'm not a walking angry person. I'm not angry at all. But I do think that I have to repent some of the things that I have inside. What else was said on here? Does Don't pretend that it doesn't hurt. Be honest with God and let it all out. Also, when you're vulnerable with God, it makes your relationship stronger. When you are vulnerable with that man... It makes the relationship so much stronger. That's why, like, I grew up you know, just thinking that being with God was a religion. It's not a religion. It's a relationship. You need to gain your own personal relationship with him. And the more vulnerable you are with him, the better the relationship grows and the more it grows. Replace your thoughts with God's truth. And the only way you can do that is reading his word. Reading his word and applying it to your everyday life literally let god transform you into a new person by changing the way you think and that's me right now like and that's why i want a god-fearing man a man who reads his bible a man who has god in their life because when you have god in your life and you read that bible i there cannot be not one person that is into their bible and their bible has not changed them mentally emotionally physically there's no way there's no way you can read your bible and it not change the way of your thinking at all at all so and that's what he's doing for me right now and that's why i want my friends to be into with god i want my man to be into with god i want my sister my family everybody around me to be into with god because it changes your person it changes your entire being it changes you so much. Like, y'all don't even understand. Y'all don't even understand. When you, have that, when you have that man in your life, and you walk with him, and you believe in him, you have faith in him, and you give him full control of your life, of your thoughts, of your emotions, you become a whole different person, man. You become so happy, so at peace. And I want that for everybody. And on here, it said that when you become healed, you help others and you want that for others. That's literally me right now. I could be at work and I'm pressing God on other people. I could be a stranger to anybody and I'm pressing God onto them. I literally press God onto my Instagram every single day. Every single day. Um... Through what Christ would do for us, God decided to make us holy in his eyes. So when you come to God, no matter how broken you are, no matter how much sin you created, he looks at you as a, where is it at? As a single fault. As a single fault. No faults to you, okay? So don't feel, I need to head to my mom's house. I'm getting caught up talking to y'all. That's what I was on my way. Don't get, um... Don't get caught up in feeling like, you know, you're unworthy to come to God and build a relationship with God because of the things that you've done. God forgives and God loves. God forgives and he loves, okay? I have my seatbelt on. Oh, I don't have my seatbelt on. It's my strap. I thought I had my seatbelt on. <laughs> um, look straight ahead and focus on confidence. Don't hang your head in shame. Do not hang your head in shame. No matter what you've done, God accepts you. Go to God, okay? Especially because that time is coming. I know people don't like to talk about it, but I strongly feel like that time is coming. Like, So just get right with God before it's too late, y'all. Get right with him before it is too late. I love that service. I loved it. I loved it. But I'm on my way to my mom's house. I'm probably going to pick up my son and probably go grab some lunch because I am. Actually, I'm not going to spend no money. No, nope, we're not going to do that, Nasla. We're not going to do that because I literally just cooked last night. And the dinner that I packed for work, I didn't even eat it. So I have that. I have my Indian food. I have, I have food at home. 
so we're not gonna go spend some money thank you god thank you god thank you because i definitely was about to go spend some money but um it is 12 18 i'm off today so i'll probably be chilling i do need to read my bible meditate pray some more i'm just thinking about going to the gym thinking about going to the gym later on today we shall see but i hope you guys' day is going really really well right now and the cop undercover cop would come behind me and hope you guys have a blessed day i did so far Move on. Hi, Ann. You have some money here? Mm-hmm. Can you see them? No. You got a last one? Mm-hmm. You want more gum? Hmm? You need more gum? Yeah, I need to go buy some more. I need them. Hmm? I need them. You do? Yeah. Why? Because it's good for me. <laughs> it's good for you? Yeah. Says who? Hmm? Says who? Me. Says you. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. It's good for me. What money? Yeah. No. 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 Go me. Go 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 I got 10 bucks. Every night should be like this. Every single night at work should be like this for me. I want this for me, God. I want this for me, God. I feel like I deserve this every single night at work, God. Thank you. What? What I got? What I got? What I got? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got seven dollars. I got seven dollars. You got how much? Huh? You got how much? Yeah. I I got I don't know, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, five. No, you gotta count one by one. Let me see you count it. One. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. so i wasn't gonna count the ones in front of you guys i was just going to count the big bills but i keep finding big bills in here so i don't want to give y'all just the money count of the big bills when there could possibly be more big bills in here you know i feel like there might be more in here because i keep finding more but so far in the big bills well, that I yeah, have, guys. it's not so far. Ninety dollars. I swear I should be making money like this every single night I work. So much money. Hey, mom, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have more big bills in here. I don't know. But these are the big bills so far. Oh, big bills. 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 
One, two, three, four. 440 so far in the big bills. And then the rest that I have is all ones. I got two. There might be some big bills in here still. I don't know. But uh, just want to give you guys a view of what the ones is looking like. Because I'm not going to give y'all a money, a full money count. I'm not. Just wanted to show y'all a little bit. I can get it all together. I, like, I, like, I got a lot. Give me that. That's the ones. One, two, three. Was it 440 or 340? Three. One, two, three, four, five. I don't remember. It was three thirty it was three fifty, three forty, or four forty, I don't remember. But three hundred or four hundred and then this right here. And the broken dollar. So I got to tape together. So that was the night, y'all. Let's see this bucket. Thumbnail. What Stop, no more. Hey, y'all. <laughs> hey, y'all. So, I'm over here in the vlog. And once again, I do not have an outro. I don't want my sister stuff back there. But I didn't make an outro. So, that's why I'm here. Hope you guys love the video. Hope you guys loved it so much. I hope the message spoke to y'all. From the sermon I was telling you guys about. Hey God! <laughs> I'm so glad that you guys love my son. Like, you guys are always acknowledging my baby, saying hi to my baby, saying how handsome he is, how funny he is. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Cause he really loves talking to y'all. But So, hope you guys love this vlog. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn your post notifications on so you're not missing any videos because you guys are going to love it over here because it's lit. And I'll see y'all tomorrow when I go to work because I'm off tonight. So, blippy!